Hey honey buns, in today's Ask Courtney video, we are talking about saving in Vietnam. If you guys are interested, keep watching. <laughs> So we back with another video. I'm the Courtney Williams. If you're new here, my channel is meant to document my journey as a makeup artist traveling the world with the hopes to inspire you guys to follow your dreams as well. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump in. Today's question is from Maggie O. Hey girl, I'm loving your name. Like it's super cute. So she says, could you make a video on saving money while teaching in Vietnam? How hard, easy, practical, impossible, etc. is it? Slash general monthly finances. I'm thinking about teaching there in the next few months and haven't found slash seen any good slash informative videos on it. Thank you. Also love the videos and the bikini set. I'm so glad you're loving the videos, girl. And yes, the bikini set is finna give all of the life. Like, I'm so here for it. So let's jump on in. I'm actually gonna break this video into two, or your question into two videos, because I think finances kind of needs its own video. So as far as savings goes, if you're not teaching, you do need to figure out first, like, you know, how you're gonna get your income flowing in. But for teachers here, the average pay is anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000 a month. Now this is gonna vary just based off of like how much experience you have, what area of you know Hanoi you're in, like if you're closer into the city or if you're kind of like a little bit on the outskirts. And then it's also gonna depend on who your actual employer is. So once you are in that moment and you, you know, know how much you're gonna be making, I feel like Hanoi is the type of place where you can save a lot of money, but this is really just gonna come down to you staying focused. And when I say focus, I mean like, you know, are you drinking every night? You know, like, are you partying every night? Are you spending like a lot of money you know doing the most like because even though things are super inexpensive here the major things that you'll probably spend your money on is gonna be like eating out or drinking as well as um you know just doing stuff hanging around the city with your friends you know like if you want to go to the pool you know sometimes that costs things like that but Hanoi is the type of place where they don't really have a lot of things that you might want to splurge on so it just really comes down to it so I feel like realistically you could save a good 500 to a thousand dollars a month now this is going to depend on how much your apartment is um as well as like what are you spending your money on as far as food and drinks because those are like your two major bills here food and drinks as well as your apartment so if you keep it pretty low as far as your apartment goes and you can you know get something in the 200 to 500 dollar range i wouldn't even go all the way up to 500 if you're trying to save i wouldn't even try to find an apartment that expensive like i would try to find something $300 are below because I feel like that's a good comfortable place to where you can find something still cute but you know then you'll still be able to have a good chunk of your check you up so once you you know figure out where you're staying the rest of your your money is gonna go on like food and stuff so if you cook more at home you'll definitely be able to save more because when you're going out to eat like Vietnamese food isn't expensive but it's like Nobody really wants to eat Vietnamese food every single day. I mean, Vietnamese food is some dishes that are good, but it's like all in all, like as a whole, it still is growing. You know, they're still developing it and some things are a bit bland. And then some things it's just like, I can't, you know, like I can't eat for every freaking day, like no. So if you decide to eat out, you know, eating out at like Western places will probably be what you will end up doing, you know, and those places are more expensive. So it's not impossible, but just be mindful or, you know, like do your budget and give yourself a little room for that because it will happen. Like a lot of times, even just hanging out with your expat friends, it'll be things happening at Western places. And then also like drinking. For me, I'm not a big drinker, so I really don't have this problem, but 
drinking is pretty cheap, but it's like, you know, sometimes people be, you know, wanting to do the most. So as long as you're not one of those, <laughs> you'll be all right. I feel like 500 to 1,000 is really realistic. I think, really I feel like 500 is a comfortable place. Like you'll be able to still do weekend trips and really enjoy yourself and be able to put that 500 away. Now, if you're trying to put the 1,000 away each month, you're gonna be a little bit limited. Like you're gonna have to restrict yourself a little bit as far as eating out. Like you want to be, you know, like you you want you would want to eat out. I mean, not eat out. You would want to cook in a little bit more. Um, you know, you might not drink out as much. Like I'm, you know, like you know. So you do gotta, you know, be mindful. So just setting that budget and going from there. But as well, I feel like another option if you're really trying to save just a lot because Hanoi and Vietnam has so many centers as well as um, public schools it's great because it offers you an opportunity to you know to double your income so you can easily work well I'm not gonna say easily because I'm sure you would be tired but you could definitely work a morning gig like with the international school or public school and then back dough and you know work at a center in the evenings and get off like at 9 30 you know so and you know be able to double your income and you will be able to save like a good three thousand and you know be able to live off the thousand and be really comfortable so yes i hope that this helps <laughs> i hope that this helps if I haven't answered anything that you guys are interested in, just let me know down below and I will, you know, do my best to respond. This is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs it up. As always, remember, people will stare, make it worth their while, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.